For this class, you'll be using Alex, which is an online math program that uses an assessment to assess what math concepts you know and what you don't. So go to alex.com, type in your login name and your password provided to you by your CT, and click Login. The computer will do a couple of checks to make sure you're ready to go. Once you log in, Alex will start looking for a plugin. It needs to plug in in order to run correctly. So any message that pops up, please allow the computer to install the plugin. This will happen automatically. Once you allow the plugin to download, Alex will check your computer to make sure everything's good. Once the system has been loaded onto your computer, you will need to restart and log in again. What the program is going to check for, it's going to check for a few things. It's going to verify that you are who you are. It will take you through tutorial on how to use the pieces of Alex, and then it will do an assessment to see what you know about math and what you don't know about math. So the first thing it's going to do is verify your first name and your last name. Once you've made sure it is who you are supposed to be, hit next. Now it will show you what your login name and your password is. Please don't change your password. If you do change your password, I will have to change it back to what it was originally, so please do not change it. Um, and then once you've verified all this, hit next. Now what the system is going to do, it's going to take you through a tutorial on how to use the text boxes in Alex. What it's going to do, it's going to take you through a series of steps, so just follow the directions. In this case, it wants you to click in the blue box, so you're going to click in the blue box, and then using your keyboard, type in the number 14. Then it's going to show you how to use the clear button, which will clear mistakes for you, and the undo button, which will actually uh, just in case you actually undid something you didn't want to, it'll restore it. This, um, these text boxes are special because it helps you to use functions in math um, that are kind of hard to create with your keyboard. In this case, it's creating a fraction. So there's a button where you press and then you click in each of the boxes to put in the numerator and the denominator. So just follow the instructions through the tutorial uh, to learn how to use it. Once you've finished using the tutorial, Alex will actually take you through an assessment. Um, the assessment is going to figure out what parts of math you know and then also identify which parts you don't know. This assess assessment is critical to Alex building the plan, the special plan you need for uh, learning the topics that you don't know. So you're going to need a piece of scratch paper and you're going to need to read the directions. Once you've read all the directions and you're fairly sure you know what you need to do, then you're going to go ahead and um, do the assessment. Once you have finished your assessment, Alex is ready to show you what you need to do next. It has created a nice pie chart that will tell you exactly how many of the topics you know and which ones you're ready to work on next. So Alex will now show you uh, your content mastery, which means how many of the topics do you know? And in this case, I know 97 of the 267 total topics for this class. What it does is it gives me a nice visual with a pie chart that shows each of the different strands of the KC and then the number of topics within each of those strands that I actually know. Some of them I know more, some of them I don't know as many. But the idea here is that I will actually be filling out all of my pie pieces by going through the different activities. So my goal is to fill out all the pie pieces. This pie is neat because it shows you which ones you know. So the dark area are the, question, are the t topics that you know, and the light area are the topics that you don't know that you still have to work on. So you will need to master the rest of the topics. So your job for this class is to go in and actually fill in the rest of your pipe chart. So now you're ready to go and see which concepts you need to learn. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to look at your pie chart and figure out which area you want to start on first good strategy would be to start on the area that's filled up to the most because that means you know a lot in that area so they may be easier for you to start with. So in this case, if this was me, I would probably start on my number sense because I know a lot of those topics and I'm going to fill it up a lot faster.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that um, piece of my pie. It will pull up another box with a whole bunch of highlighted topics. These are the topics that I'm ready to learn. So what you're going to do is just click on the first topic and go through the activity. In this case, we're working on average. You can see there's the text box that you had tutorial with before. Um, there's a help feature in case you can't remember how to use the box. But what it's asking you is what is the average of 68 to 150 and 115. If you don't know how to do this problem, then you can have the program explain it to you. And once you hit that, they will actually go through the process of having you, of showing you how to do it, and then you'll do a practice. So once you hit practice, it will show you the exact same problem it showed you before. So what is the average of 86 and 50? You have a notebook, a math notebook. You will need to write all your notes down in the, the math notebook. You need to label it with the topic, which is number sense, and then also with what you're working on. In this case, it's average. So do all of your work for all these problem types in your math notebook. Once you figure out what the answer is, you're going to type it in the box um, given. If you get this answer incorrect, the program will actually tell you um, or ask you to do it again. So you've got to figure out the correct, in this case I inverted the numbers. So once I get it correct, it will actually take, take me to a new page which will tell me the correct answer and if I got it right, and then I have to practice. Alex will make you practice problems you don't get right. You have to get this problem right three times in a row. Once you get it right three times in a row, then it will add it to your pie chart. So it's very important that you don't guess, otherwise you will be doing a lot of practice. Use your scratch, your notebook, your uh, math notebook, to put all your um, all the work for your problems in there so your teacher can see what you're doing wrong maybe and what you're doing right.